Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Hearst, Texas, up on the uh, Hearst Convention parking garage, taking a sunset look. I don't think it's happening. <laughs> Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. I needed to do this. I needed to uh, get out, watch the sunset, and, and think a little bit. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, got a lot of decisions to uh, make, and I think I'm going to be having a big change at the end of the year. You're saying, "Oh no, uh, you're not going to be doing writing for a cure." Yeah, I'm going to continue doing that. It's just the uh, anniversary of my four years of being on the road is uh, coming up here in June, which is what, um, less than a, a month and a half away. And uh, the road has uh, been good for the last four years. Uh, it's just been hard. Uh, the weather is a big wear and tear on my body. And I need to do something that's going to uh, keep me healthy and let me continue to do the mission that I'm on. And that mission is to raise awareness and money for the cure to diabetes in memory of my son. Uh, so far, I've raised over a little bit of $19,000. Yes, I know my goal is $90,000. Uh, so I'm still a long ways from it. But 19,000 is nothing to sneeze at. All that money has gone to the American Diabetes Association. So, what are you going to do, Rex? Well, I'm thinking about getting a short bus or a shuttle bus or a high top van, and I'm going to convert it into an RV. Uh, I'm going to still have the motorcycle. I'll either tow it or I'll have it mounted on back. Either the Honda I've got now or uh, maybe a little smaller bike since I'm not riding it cross country. So we'll see what happens. When is all this going to happen? Well, I'm going to shoot for the beginning of next year. So if any of you guys find a really good deal on a short bus, a shuttle, or a high top van, I'm kind of hoping to get a high top van, but we'll see. Y'all let me know. I uh, I am looking myself, and I know there's different places I can look, and I've already had a few people point me towards that direction. But it will be a, a new step for me and the writing for a cure. Uh, yeah, it's still a little bit of ways, but that's the whole idea is I'm thinking about what I'm doing. The sun has gone all the way behind the clouds. I can't see it. Maybe we'll have a blazing red sunset. I'm doing a time lapse over there anyway. We'll see. Uh, and I thought this was a good time to uh, chat with you guys and let you know what's happening. So that's what's happening. I want to give a big thanks to everybody who's donated, who's helped me out, either uh, monetize or helping me get out of situations or whatever. Just giving me a a bed for the night. I want to thank everybody that's uh, been involved in that. I want to thank my family and my friends uh, for supporting me on this. I just wanted to say thanks because y'all have been awesome. And I want to thank uh, David with the... Uh, uh, Grand Motorcycle Texas and everybody that's connected. I got to say that because there's so many people and businesses that uh, have helped out. 
been great, great um, for raising awareness and money. So thank you guys. And uh, I'm going to leave this off to here. I'm now I'm going to see maybe if I can get a good sunset. Unless I think something, I'll come back. I I really do appreciate it, guys. Everybody has been awesome. I'll catch y'all on the road. <laughs>